uh, the table below shows the number of uh, passengers that were on a bus after every stop. So after stop number one, we had two people. And then after stop number two, we had 20. Stop number three. And then they say, which is, this thing here, it follows, it follows what we call a quadratic pattern. And then if you go to number one, they say, which is, write down the number of passengers on the bus after the fifth stop, which is fifth stop. Now let's look at the pattern. What do we have? We have two. Ne? We have 20. We have 34. Ne? And then we have what? 44. If we say this one and this one gives us 18. This one and this one gives us 14. This one and this one. It gives us 10. And then if you say this one and this one, it gives us what? Minus 4. This one and this one, minus 4. Yeah, if they say to learners determine the fifth term, you can add this one and this one and this one. If you add, look at the following. If you add this one plus this one plus this one, they are going to give you 44. If you don't believe me, let's check it. So you can have 34, 34 plus 14, okay? plus minus 4. What you get? You get 44. Ne? Yeah. So if I add this one plus this one plus this one, it gives me this one. Okay? So what does that mean? It means which if I add this one and this one and this one, they're going to give me the person who's here. Ne? It also helps if you know this method here. So what am I going to say here? I'm going to say 44 okay? plus, plus 10 ne? plus, oh, it's minus 4. Minus 4. And then it gives us what? 50. Ne? So we can come and tell them with all number 1. The term number five is going to be equal to fifth, and then they give us a mark for that. And then we go to number two. On number two, they say determine the value of a, b, and c. This one we should emphasize. We should we should get okay. So what are we going to get? We have two a, which is going to be equal to minus four. Right? Divide by two. Divide by two. It says a is going to be equal to what two? Minus two. One mark for this. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. They they want after. I think it's like you 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 won't know how many people are there on the stop. Like people need to get in after the first stop. Then you count how many people are there. So after the first stop, there are two people. After the second stop, there are what? There are twenty people. The owner you calculated sixty six ish. Ish. Okay, three a plus b is going to be equaling to. 3a plus b is going to be equal to 18. So we have 3 multiplied by minus 2 plus b, which is going to be 18. Take 6 to this other side. I get this one multiplied by this one, which is 6. Ne? And then what is going to be your p? It's 24. One mark for this. a plus b plus c is going to be equal to 2. And then it says minus 2 plus 24 plus C is going to be equal to 2. Ne? This one and this one, they give you 22 okay? plus C, which is going to be 2. Take this one to this other side. It says C is going to be equal to minus, minus 20. Therefore, Tn is going to be given by minus 2 n squared ne? plus 24n minus 20. All in all, uh, Mara, they didn't say they wanted this one. Okay, let's let's give you a mark here. We, I don't know which way we're going to get the fourth mark. They didn't say which we should give them the formula. So it's one mark, one mark, one mark. So give, give them, if they got all three of them, give them full marks. Because it's not as if they said that you mind the formula. But... No, they just said that you mind the value of A and B and C. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, next question. It says it is given that, oh, yes, you can see. A is minus 2, B is 24, C is minus 20. If they got all three, you give them full marks. Let's go to number three. If it is given that Tn is going to be given by a quadratic formula, ne? determine the maximum number of passengers. Guys, once you see this this this, uh, this word, maximum, minimum, they're talking about the turning point. Every time when you see a quadratic, and then they're talking about the maximum, minimum. This words, closest, minimum, at most, 
they are, they are associated with a turning point. Now, fortunately for you, if you are a grade 10 land, if you are a grade 11 land, you don't know e calculus. So you can solve this thing without using calculus by just getting the turning point. Now, how do you get the turning point of a quadratic? You use this formula that says x is going to be minus b all over 2a. And then you know what is a, you know what is b. But now, since when you're already in grade 12, how would you get the maximum? As soon as you see the word maximum, uh, normal, even if you don't understand what's happening, differentiate, and then you make the derivative to be equal to zero. As soon as you see the word minimum, maximum, smallest, closest, they are talking about differentiation. So good number three, we're going to say that we have Tn, which is given by minus 2n squared, okay? plus 24n minus 20. So we are going to give you a mark for saying Tn prime. Ne? What is going to be Tn prime? We are going to get minus 4n plus 24. One mark for this. The derivative should be zero. The derivative should be zero. You are going to put zero, which is going to be equal to minus 4n plus 24. Take this 4n to this other side. It says which you are going to have 4 which is going to be 4n is going to be equal to 24. Ne? And then divide by 4, divide by 4, it says n is going to be equal to, what, to 6. And then as soon as you get this value, this one, it's like put turning point. Put turning point, I agree, you have two values. Ne? This is the x value. We want to know what is going to be the y value. The y value is the one which is going to be the minimum or the maximum. Now, this one, I'm also teaching you for experience purposes. Next time when you see a word that says maximum, differentiate. Take this value and then you go and substitute it there. It says which is t6. Okay? You have minus 2, 6 all squared plus 24, 6 minus 20, no? which is going to be equal to 52. And then we give you another mark there. All in all, you get your three marks. Explain why the formula of question number three does not work after 11 stop. If you say t11, you're going to get two. Okay? And then if you say T12, it gives you minus, minus something. And then you can't get negative passengers. So this formula is not going to work because you can't get negative passengers. The last positive passengers that you are going to get is at T11. After T11, you don't get anything. So you're going to say T11 is 2. T12, it gives you a negative number. Therefore, you tell them you can't get negative. Passengers can't be negative. Can not be negative and then we'll give you three marks for that yes